Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stannis Pro fans. As you can see, I'm getting, I'm stepping out of my element a little bit and I'm doing a Stannis Pro baseball game. This is going to be between the 1978 Yankees, who will be the home team, and the 1978 Oakland A's. 78 A's, of course, not a very good team. The 78 Yankees, pretty good. The pitching matchup today is going to be Ron Guidry for the New York Yankees and Matt Keogh for the Oakland A's. Now, I'm going to give you a disclaimer. This is going to be the second game I've attempted on my channel. The second one, or the first one, didn't go very well. And I have been doing walkthroughs. Uh, prior to this game, trying to relearn it. So I'm I'm going to, the disclaimer is that I'm going to make mistakes. There's going to be stuff in here. I'm going to do it wrong. And if there's something I can't figure out, I'm just going to say it's an out. I'm just going to say it's a generic out with no runners advancing. Or if it makes sense that runners would advance, or at least makes sense to me that runners would advance, I'll let the runners advance a, a base, but a generic, but it's going to be a generic out on something I can't figure out. Um, and those, I expect those things fully to come up. Um, but we will do the best we can. Uh, you can see we've got the pitcher reduction charts set up. Um, Ron Guidry is an SR10, so his token starts at 10. Matt Keogh, surprisingly, is much better at an SR-14, so his starts at 14. So with that having been said and the disclaimers out of the way, we are going to get underway with this. And it's going to take a while. I fully expect this is going to take a lot longer than doing a Stratomatic game, so buckle up. All right, so um, Ron Guidry is on the mound, and the first batter is uh, Mitchell Page. And uh, the PB, er, yeah, the PB is a 7, which means that it is within Ron Guidry's card, so Ron Guidry is in control. And the random number is a 34, so we look at 34 on Ron Guidry's card, and that is a strikeout. So, Mitchell Page strikes out and there is one down and that was simple thank you mr gidry uh the next one is the next batter is Dwayne murphy and the pb is a five and that falls within gidry's card so gidry is in control we got a random 73 which is an out and the batter is a, an LN, so we look at the out sequence for LN. And that is an F6. We go to the uh, bases empty um, and F6. And that is um, hmm, they don't have they don't seem to have an F6. For the bases empty. Bases empty out chart. F oh, there it is. Pop out to the shortstop. So that is two away. And uh, he went out to six. So Murphy out to six. And the next uh, card is a PB3. Again, falls within Gidry's card. So Gidry is in control. The random number is 53, 53 falls within an out. The next batter is Tony Armas, and Tony Armas is an RN, so we flip the card and look at RN. RN is an L5, so we look at the out chart for L5, and that is a line out to third base. He lines out to five, and that inning went rather well. And now we go to the bottom of the second. And uh, we have Mickey Rivers at the plate against Matt Keogh. 
and there is a PB7 that falls within Keo's card. So Keo is in charge. And um, we have a random 35 reading, and that is a strikeout. So Mickey Rivers strikes out. Thank you, Mr. Keo. One away. And uh, we have a next, the next batter is Willie Randolph. And he gets a PB7. PB7, again, Keo is in charge. We have an 87, a random 87, and the 87 is an out, and Willie Randolph is an RN, so we look under RN, and that is a G1 with a possible error. So G1 is ground out, pitcher to first, but let's see if there is an error on the play. There is not. So he goes out um, one to three, Randolph does, and there is two down. All right, so far it's going very smoothly. I'm liking this. L Lou Pinella is the next batter. We flip the card, and it's a PB6. That is within Keo's rating. So Keo is in charge, and we get an 86, which is an out. And then we flip the card, and Pinella is an RN. So if you have an RN, you have a an F2. Base is empty, F2. Um, let's see. Uh, F2 is a foul out to the catcher. So he goes out to two, and the Yankees get nothing in the first. And so far, everything is going pretty smoothly. So that's kind of cool. So we go to the next um, inning, and uh, this the next batter for Oakland is going to be Rico Cardi to face... Um, Gidry, and we get a PB10, so that is outside of Gidry's range, so it will be on Cardi's card. And we pick a random number 47. 47 is a, is no, it is an out, and he is an RP, right-handed power hitter. That is an F6, um... F, F6 is a pop-out to short, but we have to pick and see if there's an error. And there is no error. So, he gets, um, he is out to six. Pop-out to six. There's one down. Next card is a PB5 that does fall within Gidry's range, so Gidry is in charge. Uh, random number 27, and random number 27 falls within a strikeout. So this was, uh, this was actually Wayne Gross. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I got it. I got the wrong. PO6, and then Wayne Gross is a strikeout, and that's uh, Gidry's second strikeout. And there is two down. And then we come up with a PB9, and that is still within Gidry's range, and Gidry is in charge. You know, I was thinking, coming into this game, he was a, an SR10, and I was thinking, you know, that's rather low to be starting right here. But now I can see he's also in charge most of the time, and his card is great. So that's why starting at 10 is not that big of a deal. The random number is an 87, and that is an out, and we are looking at Revering. So Revering is an LN, and if we look at um, LN, I'll go G6 with a star. So G6, or G, G6, GX6. GX6 is a ground out shortstop to first, but there is a possible error. 
and the error says none. So he goes six to three. He bounces out six to three. Revering does, and he will not be the first batter next inning. The A's get no runs in the second. We go to the bottom of the second, and we have Reggie Jackson up for the Yankees. Reggie Jackson steps in. We have a PB6, and that does fall within Keo's rating, so Keo is in charge. And that is a random number 12. And random number 12 is a single to left field. So Reggie Jackson gets a single. And that's going to reduce um, Keo 1. And that is a hit allowed for Ke er, for Keo. I got the wrong pitchers in there because I changed, decided to change. So the next batter is Cliff Johnson. And Cliff Johnson, with a man at first, gets a, a PB of six, and that is within Ke within uh, Keo's uh, rating. And he gets a 46. 46 is a walk. So we've got two runners on. And the Yankees also have a hit. I got to get that. And that is... So he goes to second and he's allowed two runners on and he goes down to 12 with that. So now there's two runners on with no outs in this inning. We go to the next PB, and it's a PB9, which is outside of his rating, and the batter is Chris Chambliss, so this will be on Chambliss's card. And the random number is a 56, which is an out, and Chambliss is an LN. We look under LN, and we have a G6A with a possible error. So, um, let's see. Men at first and second, and a G6A is ground out, shortstop to first, runners advance. So we've got that, um, and it's one out, maybe, unless there was an error. And there is no error, so it is runners advancing one base, so there's one out. So that was 6-3 to three for Chambliss. And the A's are going to bring the infield in with one out and runners at second and third. And the PB is a seven that does fall within um, Keo's range, so Keo is in charge. And the random number is a 76, which is an out. And the batter is Greg Nettles, who is an LP. So we refer to all go F6, which um, F6 with runners at, let's see, where's the men at second, men on first and second, bases loaded, men on first and third, um, men on second and third. And this was a an F6. And F6 is pop out to shortstop, runners hold. So there's two away, and now the infield will go back for the A's. Um, and that was Nettles. So he popped out to pop out to six. And we go to the next card is a PB6 that is within Keo's range. Keo is in charge. And we have a random card reading of 33, which is a strikeout. And he strikes out the next batter, which was Munson. And so Munson is down. And the Yankees get nothing in the second. And we move to the third inning.
top of the third inning and we have Mario Guerrero up I believe we picked the card it's a PB4 so Gidry is in charge and it's a random 86 which is going to be an out on Guerrero and he is an RN so we flip the card and I'll go F3 so F3 is um, foul out to first. So Guerrero gets a foul out to three, and there is one down and nobody on. So let's get rid of all that. And uh, that's a blank card, so we'll go to the next card and that is an 8 PB8. It's just outside of Keo's range. Uh, Bucky Dent is the, or no, um, Newman. Jeff Newman is the batter. And uh, Jeff Newman is an RP, right-handed power hitter. I'll go G3A. So G3A is ground out to first unassisted. So that's two away. And um, there was a possible error on the play. Uh, error is none. So there is no error. Um, so that was an out. Uh, Jeff Newman was out. Oh, yeah, okay, that's a second out. Yeah, second out. That was a pop out two, three. And so now we look at the next card. That's a PB6, and that is within Keo's range. So Keo's in charge, and that's an 82, which is an out. And if we pick the out for the next batter, which is, um, or wait a minute, no. Uh, for the next batter, which is um, Mike Edwards, he is an RN, and an RN is an FD7. FD7 is fly out to deep left field, and that is it. Um, and there was no, um, there was no penalty chance on that one so he gets um, out fly out to uh, seven and no runs come in for the A's good game so far between the 78 A's and the 78 Yankees and um, now you've got Bucky Dent up in the bottom of the third And um, let's see, PB11, that is outside of Keo's range. So, and I probably was looking at the wrong guy when I was saying um, what was going to happen. But uh, yeah, last inning, I think I was. Because now Keo is pitching, but I cited Keo last inning. All right, mistake. Um, Let's see, the random action card is a 54, which is an out, and Bucky Dent is the batter, so he is an RN. RN is, uh, I'll go G6 star, so G6 star is, uh, well, G6 is a ground out shortstop to first, and star means there's a possible error, but there isn't. So, um, so he goes six to three, Dent does, and so now we've got the next batter up, and the next batter is Mickey Rivers, and Mickey Rivers pulls a CD, so we've got a CD rating, um, and uh, let's see, that means it's a clutch defense second base and the clutch defense 
on second base for Edwards is a zero. So I'll pick another fast action card and refer to the clutch defense rating. And this is a random 66 and he is a zero. So that isn't, it's just an out. It's a regulation out. And we're gonna say a line out to second base. Line out to four, right? Yeah. And that brings to the plate Willie Randolph. And he gets a PB9, which is outside of Keo's range, so it'll be on Randolph's card. And this, he is an RN. RN is a G4A. G4A is, and there's two outs. Um, G4A is a ground out second first, but there's a possible error. And the error is zero, so there are none. So there is no error. So he goes out four to three. And the Yankees get nothing in the third. We go to the fourth, and now Gidry, I gotta remember Gidry is pitching now, and Randolph was just up, so he's not up anymore. Edwards was the last batter last inning. So we're at the top of the order with the A's and Mitchell Page up. And we get a, we draw a PB10. Now that is outside of Gidry's range. And, um, so it'll be on the batter card. And the random number is 58 on Mitchell Page. That is an out. And he is an LP. And LP says, I'll go G, GX6 with a possible error. GX6 is a ground out shortstop to first. Possible error, none. So, um, so we have Mitchell Page going uh, six, I think it was six to three. There's one down. Next one is a PB4 that does fall within Gidry's range. So Gidry is in charge on this one. And it's an 18, random 18, which is a, uh, which is, appears to be a balk, but that doesn't matter. So we go to the next one because there's nobody on. Um, random 56, which is an out. And the batter is Dwayne Murphy who is an LN. So we look at LN and that is um, an L5. So let's see what L5 is, is a line out to third base. So he goes um, line out to five. And that is it for the A's in the fourth. And we go to the bottom of the fourth with um, with the, uh, let's see, is Pinella up? Yes, Pinella is up. We flip the card. It's a PB6, so Keo is in charge. And Pinella is an RN. RN is a G1 with a possible error. G1 is a ground out pitcher to first. That is one away. So Pinella goes one to three. And uh, yeah, let's mark that we're in the bottom of the fourth. And there was, uh, yeah, that's an out one to three. PB7 is within Keo's range. And the uh, random number is 53. That is an out on um, Jackson's. Reggie Jackson is the batter. All outs are G5 star, which is a possible error. G5 is a ground out third to first. 
but let's see if there was an error. There was none, so ground out third to first is five to three, and there is two outs. And um, we go to the next batter, which is Cliff Johnson. Cliff, this game is moving right along. This is actually better than I was hoping it would be, <laughs> that I could have hoped for. Um, PB5, that's within Gidry's range. And uh, we have a, a random card reading of 34. Uh, 34 on his card is a strikeout. Or, or wait a minute no 34 see I did it again I was looking at the wrong picture he still is in charge and 34 is a, is still a strikeout so so we've got that is taken care of and we go back to the um, we go to the top of the fifth Top of the fifth, Oakland is up. That means Armas is the batter. We're looking at Gidry's card or referring to Gidry as a, and he has a PB7. Gidry is in charge on this one. And that is a random card 12. And that's going to be a, a hit to left field. So Tony Armas gets a single. That is the first hit for the A's. That's not surprising. What's surprising is the Yankees have only one hit and no runs. Um, so he gets a hit, and that reduces Gidry by one to nine. And then uh, we have the next guy is Rico Cardi. We have a PB6, so um, Gidry is still in charge. And that's an 85, which is an out, and Rico Cardi is an RP. All go... GX5 star. GX5 is a ground out third to first, but there's a possible error. And there isn't one, so third to first means that the batter advances to second. And there's one out. Um, so that is five to three. And... Um, we go to the next batter, which is Wayne Gross. We pick the card, and that is a six. It falls within Gidry's range, so Gidry is in charge. And we get an 88, which is an out. And we look at Wayne Gross, who is an LN, and LN is a GX6. GX6 is ground out shortstop. Wait a minute. Um, ground out shortstop to first with a possible error. And there is no error. So that's two away. And that was six to three. And now we go to the next card, which is a PB8. And that is within Gidry's range. So Gidry's in charge. And that is a 73, and that is an out. And the next batter is Dave Revering, who is an LN. So we look, we flip the card, we look at LN, and we have a FD9. FD9 is fly out to deep right field. So uh, that was a uh, fly out. To nine and the A's are retired and we go to the bottom of the fifth and um, I hope you guys are taking notes at home on what, what I'm doing wrong I must be doing something wrong but uh, somewhere along the way here but um, but I think it's going relatively smoothly because both pitchers are on top of their game mainly uh, Chris Chambliss is going to be the batter in the in the fifth inning bottom of the fifth for the Yankees and we are going to pick a uh, PB of BD, which is um, clutch batting. And you use only when men are on base, so no one's on base. 
so we put, pick another one and it is a BD again and so we pick another one and it is a 10 so um, Chambliss picks a 10 that is not within Keo's range so it is going to be on Chambliss's card and Chambliss is an uh, well uh, it's a 57 which is an out and he is an LN and an LN is a G6A with a possible error. Ground out shortstop to first, but we'll see if there was an error on the play. There wasn't, so it is six to three. Um, Chambliss goes six to three. We go to Greg Nettles as the next batter. We get a PB of eight. That is within, uh, no, it isn't. It's outside of uh, Matt Keogh's range. So we pick another card and that is a 64. 64 is an out. So um, that is uh, an out and that is he is an LP. We look at LP, all go G3 star. G3 is a double play grounder, back to first, uh, blah, 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 it's an out, but let's see if there was an error and we have to reshuffle the deck. Reshuffle and flip upside down the deck. And then pick the card and um, there is no error, so... Um, I, I, now I forget what it was, but I'm just going to say it was six to three for Nettles. And there's two down and Keo is pitching out of his, I mean, you know, you would expect Gidry to pitch out of his butt, but so is Matt Keo. Thurman Munson is the next batter. We flip the card and it's a PB nine, which is outside of Keo's range. So this will be on Munson's card. And you draw an 85, which is going to be an out. Seems like they're all outs. I mean, I'm not seeing any low numbers, low random numbers. Um, out sequence is F9. I'll go F9, um, except that this was on Munson's card, so there is a possible error. But it would be a, a well, let's see what's F9. F9, I think, is a fly out to right, right? Fly out to right field, yeah. Um, but is there an error? No. So Munson flies out and that is the end of the fifth. Fly out to nine. The Yankees get no runs. We go to the top of the sixth and you have um, Munson will not be the first batter next inning. It will be Bucky Dent. But right now it's Mario Guerrero facing Guidry. Neither pitcher is really tiring at all. Uh, we got a PB9, which is right on Gidry's range, so he is in charge. And you have a 23, which is a strikeout. So Gidry strikes out um, Mario Guerrero, which is not at all shocking. And then you have the next batter, uh, who is, that's a PB5, that's within Gidry's range. And you have a random 84, which is an out. And the next batter is Jeff Newman. He is an RP, right-handed power hitter. You, uh, the all, it's, the sequence is all is F2. So, um, let's see. F2 is fall out to the catcher. So he fouls out to two. And that brings up Mike Edwards as the third batter with two down, nobody on. You got a PB5 that is on Gidry's card, and you have an 85, which is an out. And we refer to Mike Edwards, who is an RN. All go F4, and F4 is a pop out to second base. So he pops out to five and the A's are retired there. We go to the bottom of the sixth. 
I cannot believe the Yankees, although maybe they were. Maybe the Yankees weren't good in 1978. They might not have been, although something tells me they were good. So anyway, we are now looking at, let's see, i got to catch up on my scoreboard here. We're in the bottom of the sixth, and the batter is Bucky Dent, and we do know that that's true. And you have a PB-11, which is outside of Keo's range, so it will be on Dent's card. And it's a random 38 reading, and that is going to be an out. And he is an RN. RN, all go G3 with a G3 star, which is a possible error. Ground out to first, unassisted. Let's see if there's an error. There isn't, so um, Dent is out, um, ground out to three, and there is one down. That brings up the next batter, who is Mickey Rivers, back to the top of the Yankees lineup. You got a PB7, and uh, that is within Keo's range, so Keo is in charge on this one. And that is a 14, which is a single to left field. So you've got a single for Mickey Rivers. Now, uh, the question is, do I want him to steal? Uh, he is an on-base running A. Let's see here. Stolen base chart. First to second. And I will pick the card and see what happens. It's an 88. I bet he's going to be out. <laughs> Runner cannot get a jump and must hold. Um, oh, wait a minute. Um, Runner cannot get a jump, holds base, and continue normal PB play. So he can't get a jump. He will not try to steal. I mean, I guess that means... PB10 is outside of Keo's range for the next batter. And also we have to reduce him another one. And that's Willie Randolph, back to the top of the Yankees lineup. And we pick the numbers 37. 37 is a walk. So Randolph is aboard. That reduces him another one. Now he's down to 10. And uh, this is a base on balls. And you got runners at uh, first and second. And you also have another hit for the Yankees, which we have to get in there. Um, and only there is, is there an out? There is an out. There is one out. So the infield will stay back. You got a PB6, which means that Keo is still in charge. And... You got a random 38 on the next batter, who is Lou Pinella. And 38 for him is a second base nine. So that's going to be a double to right field, which scores at least one run. And actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to say that. So that is another hit and a run. So now Keo is down to eight. And the Yankees get a hit and a run. And they lead one nothing. Um, the infield is going to come in. Infield in. Got a PB2. Keo is in charge with um, Reggie Jackson up. Um, and the random reading is a 16. That's going to be something probably big. That is a single to right field, which scores a run. And puts a runner at third. And since I don't know this game that well, I'm just going to let runners hold there. And 
it's just going to be the one run, but that reduces him another two. Um, Jackson with the single. Scores him. He goes to, the other guy goes to third. Pinella goes to third. You've got runners at the corners. They're going to hope for the double play. I'm going to play back and hope for the double play. Although that doesn't seem to come up a lot in this game. Um, but you've got the next batter. And the next batter is Cliff Johnson. Cliff Johnson, that's a blank card. You got a PB6, which is within Keo's range. And then you got a random 44. And a random 44 is a walk. So Cliff Johnson walks, the bases are loaded. And that's another thing off of Keo's. And uh, yeah. So, <coughs> um, now you got the next guy. Uh, the next guy is Chris Chambliss. Chris Chambliss comes up. PB3 was in um, Keo's range. And that is a random 23. Now they're getting, and now it's getting bad. Now everything is just falling apart. Uh, random 23 is a first base nine single to right field. That is going to be another hit and another run. That reduces him another two. Um, the Yankees get another hit. They get another run. Uh, that is a single, which scores Pinella. And still only one out, and they will um, go to the bullpen. The A's will. And he pitches only um, Keo pitches only six and a third. Or wait a minute, five and a third. Five and a third, right? Yeah. Five and a third, he gives up five hits. Don't know how many runs yet. He's only struck out, well, he has struck out three, three guys. And he walked at least one, two, looks like two. Didn't allow any home runs, no wild pitches. No hit by pitch, no box. And they are going to bring in Steve McCaddy to pitch. McCaddy comes on and he is the new pitcher. He has an RR rating because he's coming on in relief. He has an RR rating of 12. And, um, so he will start back up at 12, and we will go to the next batter, who for the Yankees, who is Greg Nettles. And we have a PB4, which is within um, McCaddy's range, so McCaddy is in charge. And you have a random 38 on Nettles, which is going to be a strikeout. So that's the second out of the inning. Um... Yep, Nettles with a strikeout. And so you've got um, McCaddy. Let's write him in. And then you've got the next batter for the Yankees, which is Thurman Munson. You have a PB11, which is outside of McCaddy's range. So um, Munson is in charge on this one. 45 is hit by pitch, which will... Um, knock in another run. Um, so he gets hit by pitch, forcing in Jackson. And that is another run. 
and um, that's a hit by pitch from a caddy, but the run will go to um, Keo. And now the next batter is Bucky Dent. You pick a seven, which is outside of McCaddy's range, so Dent's in charge. And that's a 34, and that is a um, that is an out, and he is an RN. I'll go G5 with a possible error, and I got to look at the bases loaded chart. Um, let's see, RN. Or wait a minute, G, I'll go G5. So G5, infield was not in. So infield back, double play, runner to the third, blah, blah, blah. But we have to see if there was an error. There was no error. So Dent was out for the second time this inning. I'm going to say five to three. I don't remember what it was, but anyway. So they stop there, four runs come in, uh, Keo allowed four runs, and we go to the top of the seventh, and the A's are up in the top of the seventh, Dent batted, so we'll be at the top of the order next inning for the Yankees. Uh, Gidry is still out there, still pitching well, so he's not coming out. PB8. So he is in charge, and the random card number is a 21. So 21 is a strikeout for Mike Edwards. Or no, uh, Mike Edwards is not up. It would be Page, and Page struck out. So Page struck out. And we've got, just check and make sure the camera's still rolling. Um, so we got the next one is Dwayne Murphy. Next batter is Dwayne Murphy. Got a PBZ. So I think that's a strange play chart. Um, a wacky play chart. I gotta find that. Um... I guess I pick another card and it's a 31. 31 is grounded to the pitcher. Pitcher is a CD one or two. It's a double play. Um, other runners advance. Okay, so it's just, it's an out. It's an out one to three, one away. Um, that was Murphy, right? Not sure if I did that right, but you know. Hey, okay. Tony Armas is up with two down now. PB7 is within Gidry's range, and that is a 64, which is an out. Tony Armas is an RN. That is an FD7. That is going to be a fly out to left field. Fly out to seven, and that is that for the A's in the seventh inning. We go to the bottom of the seventh, and you have Mickey Rivers up against Steve McCaddy, who's still out there. That's a PB9. That's outside of McCaddy's range, so Rivers is in charge, and he gets a 21. 21, and that is going to be a first base eight, so that's going to be a single to right field. And now I am starting to see why they said that you should, um, they said you should shuffle the cards like every couple of batters or something I saw somewhere. Now I'm starting to see why, because when you flip the cards over, you're going to get more of the low numbers. And so now you're getting a lot of low number readings where it hits. Whereas in the early parts of the innings, the way I had the card deck, it was, um, uh, it was m more of the higher numbers, so they were more outs. And so I guess what I'm going to have to do is go through here and do a, like a nice reshuffle where I have a nice kind of um, uh, 
you know, mix. But anyway, that was a single for Rivers, which is going to knock McCaddy down one. And um, that's going to bring up Willie Randolph. Willie Randolph is a that gets a PB4, which isn't within uh, McCaddy's range. So McCaddy's in charge, and that's a 52. And the 52 is definitely an out. And we get a uh, out sequence G4. Um, man on first, G4 is double play grounder, second to shortstop to first. And um, that was an, with an X or with, a, with an asterisk, so it's a possible error. Um, but there is none, so it is a double play, and there is two outs. And that will be, uh, that'll be, uh, Randolph went 6-4-3. There's two down. With Lou Pinella up. And that is a PB2, which is in McCaddy's range, and he is in charge. And that's a 14, again, a very low number. That's a single to left field. For Pinella. And that is another uh, hit, which brings McCaddy down to 10. And then you've got a PB8, which is outside of McCaddy's range, with the batter being Reggie Jackson, so this will be on Jackson's card. And that is going to be a random 41, which is a strikeout. So that'll be the third out for the Yankees. And uh, they get no runs there. We go to the top of the eighth. And in the top of the eighth, we have, is it Rico Cardi? It is Rico Cardi coming up to face Gidry, who is still out there, still going strong. PB6, still within his range. Uh, he gets a 42, which isn't out, and Rico Cardi's an RP, and all go G63A with a possible error. 63, um, Let's see, 6-3-A is ground out to first unassisted, but let's see if there was an error on the play. There was none, so that is um, a ground out to three, and that is one down. You got a PB-9, which is within Gidry's range. You have a uh, random card 23, which is a strikeout. And see, even though these are lower numbers, if it's on Gidry's card, it still doesn't matter because it has to be really low to be something. Because that's a strikeout and there's two down. And then you have a PB11. So that's outside of Gidry's range. And... Gross was the guy that struck out, so Revering is the batter, so it's going to be on Revering's card. And that's a random 74, which is an out, and he is an LN. All outs are GX6. GX6 with a man at first. Force out at second. Let's check for the error. There is none, so he went out... Um, uh, five to, or four to, four to six. Four to six, and there are no runs for the A's. We go to the bottom of the eighth, where the Yankees will bat, and we'll send up uh, Cliff Johnson to lead off the eighth. I'm going to make a pitching change here. We're going to take out McCaddy. Um, McCaddy goes... Let's see, he finished the sixth with was two thirds. Uh, so he went one and two thirds. Yeah. One and two thirds. And they are going to bring in Pete Broberg to finish this thing up. And 
Pete Broberg is in. Cliff Johnson is up. It's a PB5, and he is an SR15. Or wait a minute, an RR8. He's an RR8. And um, let's see. And that was a, uh, a PB5, which is within Broberg's range. And the random card reading is 21. 21, which is a first base a single to um, right field for Cliff Johnson. So that's another hit for the Yankees. Probably I'm a little behind on that, but... Uh, so single, Broberg allows a hit. Um, you got no outs. Man at first, PB9, that's outside of Broberg's rating. Got a random 73 for um, Chris Chambliss, which will be an out. But he is an LN, so let's take a look at the out. It is a GX4. GX4 is force out at second, second to shortstop, batter safe at first. So there's one out that was a fielder's choice. Um, fielder's choice, and so now Chambliss is at first. And uh, with one out, and we have a PB7 outside of Broberg's range. You have a random card 38 on Nettles, who is now the batter, and he gets a strike. So, <coughs> Broberg strikes him out. There's two down. You got a PB4. That's within Broberg's range. So, Broberg is in charge on this one, and that's a 65, probably an out, and it is. We look at uh, the next batter, who is Thurman Munson. All are GX6. Force out at second, shortstop to batter. Batter is safe at first. Possible error, though. That would be the third out, but is there an error? Error, 8 to 10. So I do not know what that means. Um, let's see. Error, 8 to 10. All right, so... Let's see. Um, you had well. That was out. That was going to be second base. So the second baseman for the A's is um, he's got a four. So yeah. Okay, so he's a four. It doesn't fall within the range, so it isn't an error, I'm going to say, and that's an out. So, um, no runs come across for the Yankees. We go to the top of the ninth. The A's have to have four runs right here, and they've only gotten one hit so far. Uh, Dave Revering, no, Guerrero. Revering was the last out for the A's. So Mario Guerrero is going to be the first batter to face Gidry here in the ninth. That's a five, it's within Gidry's range, so Gidry's in charge, and that's a 25, which is a strikeout. So Mario Guerrero strikes out to lead off the ninth. There's one down. Um, PB6, that's within Gidry's range. The random number is 78, that's gonna be an out. Whoever it is, it's Newman. So RP, uh, we do the uh, check for what kind of out. I'll go G5, nobody on, G5, ground out third to first. It's going to be five to three for the second out. And you got a PB5, that's within um, Gibby's range. And you have a 63, which is an out. And then you pick the card to see what kind, and you have uh, the batter is um, is Edwards, and he is an RN. All go F3, uh, so 
F3 base is empty is fall out to first base. Fall out to three, and that is how your game ends with the score. The <coughs> Oakland A's got zero hit runs on one hit, and the New York Yankees got four runs on six hits and win the game for nothing. Leave comments below what I did wrong. I mean, I know there was one inning where I was looking at the wrong pitcher. I was looking at the other team's pitcher. But that is a mistake I even make in Strat. But if you saw anything I did with the mechanics of the game that was off, let me know in the comments. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.